Hey, up. Right, I'm sorry about the uh, sort of condition of that original footage. It's a copy of a copy of a copy that someone else has copied, and then I copied it. Which makes me feel a bit naughty, because I never copy other people's footage and use it in videos. But that is the only footage available of the prospective new Royal Enfield 650 classic that I'm aware of in existence and as you know the internet has been awash with this sighting over the weekend and if you don't know shame on you now just in case it wasn't totally clear that original footage was uh, originally posted by Bikewalla in India and I am using it for the purposes of this video uh, under the fair use regulations but i'll use it as little as possible on this video what i wanted to do really was just unpack this momentous news that there is a classic 650 coming out from royal enfield probably within the next 12 months now just a little bit of royal enfield history here obviously the classic or bullet range has been their mainstay their bread and butter for almost 70 years and then in 2020 they discontinued the classic 500 now obviously we now have the classic 350 but that sort of left a middleweight gap in the classic range something that's you know always been there and still today represents the identity of the royal enfield brand Now, as Royal Enfield fans have been hoping and wishing for the last, what, several years now, that they're going to bring out a new 500 or 650cc classic. But Royal Enfield are very good at staying tight-lipped, and generally speaking, the only sort of heads up we get on these models are those that are spotted on the streets of New Delhi, as is the case with this sighting. The first bullet, I believe, was launched in 1934 by the Redditch Royal Enfield. And the late 1940s version of this bike was constructed in India by the then Enfield India Company as part of a, a military contract for dispatch motorcycles, etc. from the early 1950s. Now, I'm not quite sure when it happened, but it was certainly there during the 1990s. Royal Enfield went back to producing a, a classic version of the bullet, which was reminiscent of that original 1934 model, although it was built on a later platform. And for decades, they produced the 350 and 500cc classic. And what they also did during the 1990s is they brought out some cruiser or factory custom versions which used the bullet platform as the basis. You know, basically the same engine, same frame, but other components were changed to produce factory customs or cruisers. But because they were based on the original bullet, they always retained some of the original bullet's characteristics. If you fast forward to 2018, 2019, Royal Enfield sort of went through a reboot and they introduced the 650 Continental GT and the 650 Interceptor. Now, it seems to me that they purposely stayed away from the bullet and the classic at this stage. I think they didn't want to be seen as a one-trick pony so the diverged to completely different models in order to build up a worldwide market credibility which they did that's history for the past couple of years they've concentrated on their 350 range starting with the 350 meteor but the first thing i noticed about the 350 meteor was that there was some certain sort of classic or bullet type characteristics to the way it had been put together most notably the design of the 350 cc single engine the upper mounts for the rear shocks and the general sort of design and configuration of the frame it all looked very bullet like to me 
Now, this is not surprising because, you know, Royal Enfield are sticking to their own history here. They weren't trying to produce a mini Harley. They were producing something reminiscent of the factory customs that they turned out in the 1990s. So, of course, it had those bullet characteristics. And it also left open the path for them to produce the 350 Reborn Classic. Historically, for them, it all makes perfect sense. The Hunter appeared a few months later, and then, for now, it seems that's their 350 range done and dusted. But then along came the 650 Super Meteor, very similar to the original Meteor that they produced a couple of years ago, a very bullet-esque configuration. As soon as I clapped eyes on this bike, I could see that there was a bullet hiding in there somewhere. Although I'm still not ruling out the possibility of a 500cc single made from a bored out 350. Because let's face it, they could have been testing that on the roads of India for months and anyone that saw it would just think it was a 350. It's unlikely to make any headlines. But I did first moot a 650cc version of the classic about three and a half years ago. And I think what we're looking at with this new sighting of the classic 650 is the early to mid stages development of that bike. Now, to my mind, this is quite clearly based on a Super Meteor. The main differences on this test bike being, of course, the tank, conventional shrouded front forks, and the classic or bullet trademark nacelle or casket enclosed headlamp. As you can see, instead of the foot forward position, we have a mid foot position for the bike. And this was something else that gave me a clue with the Super Meteor. This was the main sort of criticism that I had of the Super Meteor, the foot forward position. It didn't seem like a well thought out baked in solution. It was a sort of additional set of girders and brackets fastened onto the front of the bike. And to me, the way this had been executed was, it, you know, it looked like they wanted to leave other options for foot peg positioning. They opted for a bolt-on assembly rather than something which would be permanent and would hinder or at least raise the costs in production of another motorcycle with a mid-foot position. And then we have the front mudguard, which looks to me to be a slightly modified front mudguard from a Super Meteor. The shape is all wrong for a classic. Now, I can't clearly discern if other modifications have been made to the chassis of this bike. The quality of the footage is just too poor to be able to tell for certain. But clearly, the angle of steering the rake for the front forks has been tightened up, which is exactly what you would expect for a classic. As you can see, we do have spoked rims, but once you move behind the rider to the back of the bike, this bike is pure super meteor you can't really see the rider's seat that clearly but you can see the pillion pad and these look to be stock super meteor the prototype is fitted with pea shooter type silencers but i'm not quite sure what to make about the rear mudguard it might just be the poor quality of the picture but the tail light seems to be molded into the mudguard and it looks more Super Meteor again than classic. I think it may have been slimmed down slightly, probably to take into account a slimmer rear tyre, but it resembles the rear mudguard of a Super Meteor far more than it does the rear mudguard of any Royal Enfield classic that I've seen past or present. It does look to me as though the seat height may have been raised slightly, which also has probably contributed to uh, this change in the configuration of the rear mudguard. But what I think we're possibly looking at here is a modified Super Meteor rear mudguard rather than a prototype 
classic rear mudguard. I just wish we had clearer images because it's driving me nuts trying to work out what's going on here. Now, as I've said, this looks like an early to mid-stage prototype to me, so that we could be waiting for as much as a year before we see this being released. But then there's part of my brain that's telling me, you know, manufacturers do play tricks on us. They may have taken steps here to disguise the bike and to disguise the development stage of the bike. We could see this introduced this November. What I'm saying is that this could be further on than, you know, we would be led to believe by looking at these images. But there is one thing which is absolutely dead certain, and I know that from running this channel over the last four or five years, this will be the most hotly anticipated Royal Enfield motorcycle to date you know i'm constantly being asked in the comments section if i think they're going to make a 650 twin uh, classic i'm constantly being asked when it's going to be released you know my guess is as good as yours this is the best guess that i've got but as i said several years ago marrying up this bulletproof award-winning 650 cc air cold power plant with a classic or bullet configuration is the stuff of dreams for most Royal Enfield fans. I know a week before last I produced a video saying that I was very tempted by the Super Meteor, but with this news, that thought is on hold. And if you're listening, Royal Enfield, take my money now. Right, once again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and my other videos and in doing so helping to support this channel. You know that I really appreciate it. I would also appreciate it if you would leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. It does help the channel out with the algorithms. I will of course be back on Friday, so until then, if you're riding, please ride safely and I'll see you soon.